Good afternoon, everyone. Over the lockdown, it seems that lots of people have either tried to take up a new skill or gone back to things that they used to do a long time ago. One of our teachers has started to become a knitter and he has promised that he's going to knit me a chaplain's hat, something to look forward to on the football pitch next season. I have been trying to get back into banjo playing. Now don't laugh, this was something I used to do every day and at one point I reckon I was pretty good. But over the last few years I've kind of got out of the habit. Sadly, despite playing every day for the last seven weeks, it is clear to me I am never going to get up to the standard that I once had. My fingers just don't work as well as they once did. A Chigwell dad I was talking to last week said the same about running. He had been a pretty impressive athlete in his day and had taken up running again after a gap of 20 years. Now, in his 40s, he said he was enjoying the feeling of being a bit fitter, but he regretted the fact that he wasn't the racing snake he had been at university. Now, thinking about my banjo and his running, it struck me that maybe we were both looking rather negatively at our situation, being sad because we weren't as good as we used to be. Perhaps instead, we should look at these things in a bit of a more positive light, being grateful for the things that we had. I can be grateful for the fact that when I was younger, my mum and dad bought me a banjo for Christmas and gave me some lessons. And as a result, I can read music, more or less, and even 40 years later can pick up the instrument and bash out a tune. The dad and his running may not be as fast as he used to be, but he has his health and his strength and he can run further and faster than most men of his age. And because of the lockdown, we can both be grateful that we have the time that we would otherwise not have had to take these things back up and have another go. It's all about being grateful for what we have in the present rather than comparing it with the past. And let's face it, we have a lot to be grateful for. Every Thursday, we stand on our steps at eight o'clock along with everybody else, we clap and bang our uh, pots and pans to thank everyone who is keeping us safe in the National Health Service and all of the other essential people. So despite all of the things that are challenging us at the moment, we need to recognise just how fortunate we are in so many ways, and we need to be thankful. So, I have a request for you, a bit of chapel homework. This evening you will go out on your doorsteps at eight o'clock and clap and bang your pots and pans to say thank you to our National Health Service. But when you come back inside, I want you to get your whole family together, light a candle and have each one of you say something that they are thankful for today. Even better, take a photo and send me an email. We'll say a prayer. Heavenly Father, sometimes it's easier to look at the difficulties and challenges we face rather than to recognise the blessings we enjoy. Help us to be grateful for all you have given us, to appreciate those around us and celebrate the life we lead. May God be a light to guide you, a hand to steady you, and may his blessing follow you, now and always. Amen.